going to be doing another parable from Matthew this morning. We're going to be in chapter 7, beginning in verse 1. And it says, Do not judge other people, then you will not be judged. You will be judged in the same way you judge others. You will be measured in the same way you measure others. You look at the bit of sawdust in your friend's eye, but you pay no attention to the piece of wood in your own eye. How can you say to your friend, let me take the bit of sawdust out of your eye? How can you say this while there is a piece of wood in your own eye? You pretender. First, take the piece of wood out of your own eye. Then you will be able to see clearly to take the bit of sawdust out of your friend's eye. So maybe you've been uh, on a windy day um, and you've got something in your eye, maybe a, a little piece of dust or something, and you know how that just really irritates your eye and you want to get that piece of dust out of your eye, right? So this is just kind of a picture to us. Imagine having a great big, like a great big block of wood in your eye. Would that hurt? Well, yeah. So Jesus is using this kind of interesting example, right? To show us that sometimes I see in someone else their sin, but I forget that in my own life I have sin too. So my sin is like having this big chunk of wood in my eye where the other person's sin is having, like having a little piece of dust in the eye. There's a huge difference there, right? And Jesus is using that as a picture to us to say, look, you pretender, take that big chunk of wood out of your own eye so you're able to then help the other person with a little speck of dust in their eye. So what do you think that means? Really, it comes down to, I need to recognize in my own life that I have sin. And sometimes those sins kind of tend to hide. Like, okay, if I were to tell you a big fat lie, you're gonna notice, right? But what if I just, just had an attitude of pride? Or I was just, I was bragging about myself, right? So those are things that are sin as well. But sometimes they don't come quite as big as a lie, a big fat lie would be. So God says, examine your own heart first. Confess your sins to me. Admit that you're a sinner too. And then you'll be able to, with a good conscience, go to your friend who has a little sin going on in his or her life. And you can help them also. Isn't that awesome? I love how Jesus uses these, these word pictures for us to be able to see how he wants to work in our lives because he does every day. And his word shows us that. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you are always there ready to forgive us when we sin. Lord, we admit that sometimes we have this huge chunk of wood, this big sin going on in our own hearts. And yet we try to point out everybody else's sin. Well, I'm not as bad as that person. But Lord, in reality, we, we do. We are as bad. We have those sins in our lives too. So help us to confess first our own sin and then to be able to help others who are sinning to come to you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. See y'all tomorrow.